In today's video, we will show you how to use Vidipop Blogger to create a cinematic text effect like the one in the demo. If you are interested in this one, keep watching. To create a cinematic text effect like this, first, we need to use the text template to connect the top and bottom layers. And we can adopt the two-color chroma key method. First, open Video Blogger, create a new project. Use text to create a text layer. Enter the text content. Then, change the text color to green. And zoom in on the text. Align the text with the left and right sides of the screen. Adjust offset to zero in text shadow. Next, click this button. Change your background color to blue. Then, click this button to take a screenshot of the screen. Import the image into Vidipo Vlogger again. Delete the text laser and put the image you just imported into the overlay track. Make the image fit to the screen. Then, click on Motion. Add a keyframe to the leftmost side of the timeline. Adjust the box so that each letter is aligned with the top and the bottom of the screen. Then, drag the box to the left so that it remains out of the frame. Add a keyframe to the far right of the timeline. Shift the box to right again so that it remains out of the frame. Then, click Apply to return to the main interface. Now, we can have a text scrolling effect. Next, let's import a video clip. Import it into video track. Here, to process the video better, we can click this eye button on the overlay track to disable the overlay track for now. Use Ripple Edit to adjust the duration of the video. After processing, enable the overlay track again. Next, click on the clip on the overlay track. Use the chroma key to remove the blue background. Here, you need to adjust the tolerance and smoothness values carefully and make sure the blue background is removed. Let's confirm it once again. Then, use Ripple Edit to elongate the last section of the material a little bit, and use the text tool to add some text. Find animation in the inspector on the right, add a move effect to the text. Finally, Click Export to export the video. Delete all the clips from the timeline. Then, re-import the video you just exported into Video Vlogger. Import three little video clips. Pull them into the video track. Make sure they all fit to the screen. Then, put the video clips you just exported into the overlay track. Resize it. Same as before, use the chroma key to remove the green screen from the video. And carefully adjust the tolerance and smoothness values, otherwise it might affect the overall quality of the screen. Finally, Add a suitable background music. Now, a cinematic text effect is now complete. Well, this is all for today's video. If you want to know more about other and tricks or what has been going on with Video Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.